and welcome to my craft room. My name is Michelle Wells. I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator from Tasmania, Australia. Welcome to another um, project for 12 days of Christmas fun. So um, I'm a bit excited um, um, that I'm getting closer to the um, my favourite project, not today, but um, that I'll be doing on um, Thursday. That'll be my last day. So, but today is day 10 um, and I've only got two more after today. So, but before I get started, I'll just have a look, see if I can find myself on my computer. But while I'm doing that, anybody that pops on and um, um, pops onto my video to watch, um, please say hi, um, leave a comment, um, let me know where you're watching from because um, I will pop your name into a drawer um, and I've already got, oh, this is half of them, I haven't um, put the rest of them in yet but um, I've got a few names in there but um, I, um, I've got to go through the rest of them but um, you will win, um, the lucky person I draw out will win um, the 12 projects that um, I'm doing um, today you'll have an actual kit to make up these 12 projects um, at, at home. So the winner will receive the whole 12 of those. Um, plus, if you live internationally, um, please leave a comment because um, I'll have a second draw for you um, to win either two of the cards or a, a, one of my cards and a, a project and they'll be completely done. So... Um, I can't ship the whole kit to because it'll cost a lot. Um, plus, I don't know if I can ship kits out um, out with out of Australia. So um, I've found myself on here, um, and hopefully everything goes well. Um, today we're going to create a, a quick little card. Um, this is one that I um, I'll show you the one in a minute. I'm just going to see who's on. Um, Okay, so we've got, hi Christy, hi Lisa, hi Jenny, hi Kathy, hi, um, I'm just having a look to see who else is on that I have missed, um, and if you, if you wouldn't mind, um, sharing, um, I'd, I'd love that too, so I'm just having a look, um, um anybody else that's joined so i'm going to get rid of that um i've got most of my things all pre-cut and this is the little card we're going to do i i love little fun folds so this is the little card that i'm going to create today but i'm going to do it in my favorite color and um what do you reckon my favorite color would be so um so yeah, so I'm going to um, create this in my favourite colour. So um, and it's a cute little um, little fold. So um, I love fun folds as well. So I don't know what it is. Every time I go live, I always seem to have a car just revving down the street past me. It's either that or they're um, mowing the lawn. So well, not the the cars driving past mowing the lawn, but somebody around my area is mowing the lawn. So, um, but yeah, so I'm going to create um, this card in um, my favourite colours. So, but I'll show you what um, I am going to use to do that. I'm using the Snow Wonder um, stamp set and all I'm using is the Snowman and, um, and the Happy Christmas and the, some of the snowflakes. Um, so I'm going to use that and I'm going to use the Snow Time dies. So I've already got some of them out here because I need to cut the snowman and a little part for the sentiment which are here but I've got them on a magnetic sheet here. So I'm just going to cut the snowman and I'm going to cut um, this one out and that's going to be, I've, I'm just going to use that one to cut my sentiment. So um, I'll pop them back over onto this one here and I'm also going to use the Sweetly, Sweetly. Stitch so sweetly dies, and um, I'm going to use. Um, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to use this one or I'm going to use the same one as I did before. 
I'm just going to try all those out again, but I've already pre-cut those, so we'll go. Um, no, I did a card, and I don't know where I've popped it now. I did a card using the new, uh, one of the new, here we are. So I'll just quickly go through these. So I'm going to use um, these, and I've already pre-cut both of those out. And I'm also going to use, um, and I'll need to keep this one out, so I'll pop those over there. And pop them there so I don't lose them. Um, I'll just go and have a quick. Yes, Lisa, you're right. Purple. So, um, yes, it's my favourite colour. Um, and if, if you've ever seen any of my videos um, with the, like, when you see my face, the background of my craft room is purple. So, um, yeah, I have purple, mint green, grey and white in my craft room. So that's my colour coordination in here. So it's okay, I can't hear the car or the lawnmower. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a mean, it, like, you can normally, it just goes straight past here and it's quite annoying. So especially when you've got, um, if you listen back and you've got headphones in, you can really hear it sometimes. So, um, but you think that's cute, Christy, the car? So anyway, I'm going to use um, Feels Like Frost, um, the specialty designer series paper. So I'm going to use that one. And um, I'm going to use some purple today. So I'm going to have a look, see what purple's in here. So we've got, and this has got some gorgeous ones. So I might use either that one. Oh, and that's the piece that we used on the other card. So I just, I cut that down and um, that's what I used on the inside of that one just to give it a bit more um, like the background and I just wanted to use this one so um, this paper I'm having a look to see I'm just going to grab a couple pieces out and see which one I like in a minute so but I thought I, I've made a um, boy one so I thought I may as well make a girl one and snowmen can be any colour you like and I think that's all the purple there is in that one. So, what's that one there? That's the same as what I've already got. But I think I might go that one because I quite like that one. That's pretty. So, um, we're going to go that piece there. And we don't need that one anymore. So, pop them over there as well. And like I said, I've already got all my, pre, my pieces all pre-cut, most of them. So I just need to cut my designer series paper down. Um, but I reckon that'll go just nicely with that as the background. So, and I can just bring a few of those colours in um, to colour my snowman. But um, that's what we're going to use. So, um, and like I said, I've already pre-cut my, um, my piece that goes on the inside. And I've got a piece there for my snowman. And I've... I've done both of these um, pieces here but what I, I was making a card following along somebody and I was inspired by um, this card and um, so I made this one using the dragon um, oh, I can't think what it's called now that dragon garden um, or garden yeah if anybody can help me out here, I can't think what it was called, but I had it sitting here um, to tell you what it was. And uh, the Dragonfly Garden um, stamp set that's coming out um, on January um, the 3rd um, for customers. So um, this is one of the new um, sets that are coming in the, um, in the bundle, uh, in the um, new catalogue, the... Um, one with the celebration so um, I was inspired by this but I actually done my own little twist on this one and I actually poked that one into there because I just wanted that to close where this one here um, I didn't this being that shape I can't close that one but if you wanted to you could tie a ribbon around there um, but I felt like the ribbon would be just too much if you like it sitting like that, um, that's nice. Um, but I suppose it's never going to be sitting in. If you're going to put them on display, it's not going to really matter because they're going to, um, when they're sitting in the envelope, they're going to stay straight anyway, up flat anyway. So, but yeah, 
I thought that was just a, an idea of um, what you can do too. So you could just pop that into there so um, it closes. But um, I actually, actually love the dragonfly. So, but that was, yeah, just something I was doing. But so anyway, I will get started and um, show you what I'm going to, how I created this. So, um, first up I might get my stamping out of the way. So I might stamp my snowman and, um, and my, see if I've got enough room on here. How big was that die? I might just have enough room to stamp that if I stamp that. And I'll see if I can get the snowman in there as well. I might just sneak the snowman in if I turn it on the side. So I'll go down this way. So I may need another piece. So I'm just going to find another scrap piece of, and I'll, I'll use this piece here. It's a lot bigger. So then I don't have to stress trying to get my snowman in there. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp my snowman. I'm just going to check. Hi, Kathy. Thanks for joining. Um, anybody else that I haven't? Hi, Michelle. Thanks for joining. So... You like how it closes on the dragonfly one? Yeah, that's what I mean. You can, um, I'll, I'll create um, the next one with the um, same closure as the, um, the dragonfly one and um, we'll have a look, see how that goes. So um, I've got purple house, other rooms, purple feature walls. Oh, well, you're one of my girls then, Christy. You like the purple too? I think you like purple too, Lisa, don't you? I, if I remember correctly, you like purple. Was it you that liked purple? Or, um, yeah. Hi, Julianne. Thanks for joining. So anyway, I'm going to um, get started. So we're going to do our stamping first. And I've got my snowman here. And um, I've got my sentiment there. And I will need my snowflakes as well so because I need that for the inside of my card so I'll just do that part first um, so I'm going to stamp my snowman but I'm going to do him in Highland Heather so we're going to have a Highland Heather snowman or I might try it in a couple of different colors actually so and um, you can let me know which one you prefer so I will use that piece there so um, I'm going to ink my, so I'm going to use Highland Heather, so, and this might just give it a nice subtle um, colour, might be able to get two snowmen up there, so I'm just going to use, this is Highland Heather, this one, and I'm going to grab my chamois and Get that purple that color off and and I'm gonna try gorgeous grape so we're gonna um, yep you like purple I thought it was yes I'm a purple freak I call myself I call myself <laughs> uh, <laughs> you love purple so yeah I like purple so it is my favorite color so I'm using gorgeous grape on this one and um, I'm just going to stamp that along the side of there actually I can't, I'll have to put it onto this one so hopefully I get him out so I can cut him out so and I did not do that properly so lucky there's two sides for um so I might just take that down to that one this time Okay, so I'm going to try him again. I'm going to ink him up there and I'm just going to hold him down. And that is the gorgeous grape. So which one do you think? Gorgeous grape or um, the Highland Heather? So I'll cut both of them out and we can have a look on the card as we go. But um, let me pop that one there. I think I need the gorgeous grape. Um, so I'm just going to color that, uh, color that, clean that up and pop them over there. So um, I'm 
pop them over there just to dry for a second. Actually, no, I need, I may get my sentiment down the bottom here. So I'm going to use, um, close that one up. And I'm going to use gorge, Gorgeous gorgeous grape because um, it's a stronger colour for my um, sentiment. So I'm just making sure I've got that the right way around. So I'm just going to ink that up. I'm just going to stamp that down there in the center and quite like that one so I've got rid of that so the only thing I've got to do is cut these two out so that's those and then I'm going to grab my um, really light um, I know this is going to be a, I'm going to stamp these off and stamp on so I'm going to use my little snowflakes and I'm just going to, um, so I need a, a piece of paper here. I'll just get my um, post-it notes. So I'm going to stamp off and I'm going to stamp on up there. I'm going to stamp off and I'm just going to stamp those on there. And they're just going to sit on, and that's all the um, snowflakes that I wanted on that page. So that's the insert of my card. So I'm going to pop him over there and I'm going to bring my um, cut and emboss machine in and I'm going to cut these two out as well as the sentiment. So and here comes a big truck. Close your ears. Okay, so I'm going to grab my snowman punch. Uh, punch snowman um, die and I'm just going to line him up and um, actually what I might do is I might grab one of those posted notes and I'm going to cut these both out at the same time so I'm not um, here trying to so I'm just going to line him up and he's he lines up quite easy so I'm just going to stick him down there and Hopefully I get this one on here without having to stick a post-it note onto that one. And maybe need to go that way. So that looks good. Oh, and guess what I just did? I stuck them both on the um, same plate. Duffer. Lucky that stuck down. I don't have to do that one again. Alrighty. Try again. So. And... I'm having a look. Does that look straight? Do you reckon I've got that straight? Here goes nothing. So I hope I haven't got my head in the way there. So. Okay. I was inspired by, um, I was inspired at on stage with, um, one of the, um, like Shelly doing um, an album. So I was inspired by that album that um, I am going to create some albums of my own. So um, watch this space. I'm going to be having a, um, where I'll over a few um, goes, a few days I will, um, create an album with you from start to finish so it's red hot in Adelaide so we've it's quite warm here quite muggy because um I think we're going to be getting some rain so we're meant to be getting rain tomorrow so so there's my um purple snowman that's a highland at uh, the gorgeous grape and I forgot to cut my so I'll quickly cut this one out off um camera so that I so, um, you're not standing there. And so I don't want to be all day today. I have got my grandsons this afternoon for tea. I had them early this morning. I had done the school runs. So, been out and about early. Um, and they both said to me, um, Nanny, hang on. They both said to me, Nanny, we need some Spongebob lollies. And I said, do you? And they said, yeah, because we, when we come to your house for tea 
or sleepover, we, we've got to have SpongeBob um, lollies. And these SpongeBob lollies, all they are is the hamburger. And it's like they're sour lollies. And they have one of those little packets each. But um, Archie turned around and said to me, he said, and I, uh, no, yeah, that's right. And Archie turned around and said, and I need the sticker out of that for my cup. So, um, so I went into um, Shiploads, uh, not Shiploads, the reject shop, because that's where you can get them. And there was one pack left, so I was lucky. So, um, but anyway, I will have a look and see if I've missed anybody. So, so, so far we've got, um, we've got great. Um, both look good. Highland Heather. Okay, we've got grape again. And so we've got two grapes. So I, I reckon the darker one would be um, nice on there. So we'll pop them aside. So now we're going to grab um, our, our trimmer out. And I'll pop that aside too. I might stick that up on there. I know where that is. So I'm going to grab my get those stamps I did clean up my um, side of my desk here but it doesn't take long to um, to get messy again so I've got a piece of six and a half so that's six and a half I don't need to open this up um, to cut this anymore so I've got a piece of six and a half by five and a half um, Highland Heather and on the six and a half inch side, we're going to score this at two and a quarter. I think that was too, right, two and a quarter. Let's have a look at my notes. Two and a quarter. So we're going to score that. We'll get my rid of my um score my cutting blade. So we're going to score this on the six and a half inch side. We're going to score this at two and a quarter, and that gives us our little um our little fold. So. And I'll, I'll bone, use my bone folder in a minute for that. And like I said, I've already cut my um, piece that goes on the inside of there. So that's that piece done. And that piece is um, three and three quarters. Uh, sorry. Um, that piece is four by five and a quarter. And our DSP, we've got to make sure when you're cutting this that um, you're cutting it so your um pieces like you've got your piece looking at you and so um so the first piece i'm going to cut is two so i'm going to cut that down because i want this piece to be my um the front of my card so i'm going to cut that at two and this piece here is going to be five and a quarter so five and a quarter Actually, which way do I want to? Yeah, I want to have the um the lighter color up the top, so I'm going to cut cut it off there. So five and a quarter. So that's our first piece that'll go on on there. And then our second piece, um, we've got to work out. So um, we want it to to go the same way. So if I turn this around, um, so we've got to look at where's my um, piece here. So this is the shorter side here, so you'll be cutting the shorter side first and then um, cutting your longer side to go along that way. So my short side is two and three quarters, so two and three quarters. And pop that aside and then you're going to work out which piece you want to have and I want it to sort of go in with what I've done up the top there. So I'm going to cut this one at three and one quarter. So three and one quarter. And hopefully my measurements have, um, I've done them right. So we will see. And that's all the things that you need to cut with that. So it's gorgeous paper. It is. I um, It's one of my favourite um, ones. Because on the opposite side you've just got... Um, and this makes a nice, um, I was going to do it all in that one, but then I thought, nah, I like colour. So I like the um, silvers and that at the back for um, like for a bit of um, shine. So I'm going to stick my um, insert in first. So I'm going to grab my glue. 
Um, I'm just going to move that. Just going to go back and make sure that. Um, so yeah, no, they're they're cute little fellas. So, um, but I said to my, um, I said to him this morning. I said, whose birthday is coming up soon? Um, and I said, whose birthday is tomorrow? And Lincoln said, mine. I said, you've already had your birthday. And um, Archie said, me? I said, no. I said, you've already had your birthday too. And then Lincoln said, Poppy? I said, yeah, it's Poppy's birthday tomorrow. So they got really excited about that. So um, we may even, um, you can hear the truck. <laughs> so I'm just going back to make sure that I, because um, I forget to, um, to look at um you'll probably get what the rain michelle so um yeah no they're cute little fellas so so i've got all grape so i'm gonna do that one but um i've caught up with comments now so so i'm just gonna glue this one in first i just like to get my um this background in it it's easy to get in um when you've got no layers on the top of your card um, to muck around with and I don't like to bend anything or so I'm just going to pop this one in here so so um, would any of you be interested in um, a scrapbooking um, like album making um, so I'm not quite sure whether I'm going to do um, like I'd like to do a class on it um, and I don't know I'm, I'm plucking up the courage to do a zoom um, something like that so but yeah oh and I I've done it wrong <laughs> that's okay I am gonna add the little piece I was meant to stick and I, I haven't even got that piece out either so that's what happens when you go off on your because I was looking here thinking, why do I need that piece? It's all right. We need to make another cut. And I forgot all about that. We may need to make this little flat piece here. And that was meant to stick up underneath here. So I will grab my um, Highland Heather. And I'll grab my um, trimmer back up again. So, okay. So we need a piece. It's three and a quarter. Uh, three and three quarters. Three and three quarters by three and a half. By three and a half. And I've totally forgot about that piece. And I don't need those ones anymore. Get them out of the way. And then on the um, I think that was the yeah, on the long the three and three quarters side. We're going to score that at half an inch. So I like to do it on this side. It's easier to um, find my half an inch to score. So we need half an inch. Was it half an inch? Yep. And then we're just going to fold that down. And I'll show you what, um, what I was meant to do. That was meant to go... Um, under that white piece before we um, popped it down but um, it's not going to now it's going to did I do that right I did oh I didn't I'm having one of those days I'm having a blonde moment today so anyway this is going to be a little bit different hopefully that piece is no, I'm going to cut it, have to cut a tiny little bit off that. Okay, sorry girls, I'm, um, I'm confusing myself now. So this piece I'll have to cut down to make that um, a little bit shorter. So, and I'm just going to cut that there. So, you should have had a piece that was um to that's going to sit in there just nicely and that piece there will sit on top of it just nicely 
okay so yeah I'll have all the measurements at the end of the video um, underneath the thing so you can um, recreate this one again <laughs> so sorry about that so this piece here should have went up underneath that white piece but it's not going to now so I'm just going to stick it to the back um, of my back of my card and I may decorate the back of it up um, but um, actually no I'm going to do that save all the time um, but I should have had that going underneath there so it sits in just nicely with that so um, I'm just working out what I I'm gonna I'm just gonna have to glue that onto the back so that should have went under that white piece first so I'm just gonna glue this to the back it's not going to make any difference um, where I glue it so and all I'm going to do is fold that up and I'm going to work out where I want it to go roughly into the center and make sure I've got that fold line so I can fold that over and like I said <laughs> and I've gone there is no mistakes in crafting I've totally just ruined this one so this one's going to be a diff bit different it's going to be lower down so okay what I said was a simple card and um, is turning into be a nightmare so anyway I'm gonna keep going so um, like I said this piece here will go underneath there but it, I didn't do that so I've done that on there and so now I'm going to grab this piece here and I'm going to sit that onto the other piece. So that's going to go on top of here and just give it a nice little bit of a border around and at least that went on straight. So and then once you've done that piece then we're going to pop this piece here is going to go onto there and I I like quite like this one it's quite gorgeous so and I'm just going to stick that on there and I'm going to line that up with the um, whisper white piece that I've um, got on there so it all lines up just nicely and um, mine's gone down a little bit down the page but that's okay it's a different card and you, you never make um, two cards the same so that is um, that's how that is so once you've done that so creative variations yes that's true so um, but anyway it wouldn't be um, wouldn't be right with me not doing something right so you can have that either way um, if you like but I'm going to do the same um, technique as I did before and like I said I've got two of these um, here cut um, so I, I may use that one there and I may glue just half of that so this little piece so I'm going to open that so I've got a guide of where I want to have that um, to glue so I'm going to glue that I'm just going to have a look see and um, my little guy will still look pretty cute um, on there so I might just have that sitting up there on there so that's okay I'm going to pop glue just on this half of this piece here um, not quite half but I'll show you what I mean so I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to put glue on this side so I'm just going to grab so I'm just going to go half of that and I'm just I've got enough glue on there to make sure that I so I'm going to close that and I'm going to pop that try to get that into the center and we've gone over a little bit but um that's okay 
because I don't want to glue um, glue that. And what I might do on the back is I might um, pop another bit of. Um, but you really can't see see it anyway. So, and then once you've got that down, I'm just going to take that off for a minute. I'm just going to grab my bone folder and I'm just going to give that. Or another way is hold it down and give it a good push on the back. So, and you could do your usual bone folder too to just give that a good crease down. And then once that is on, it should you should be able to just like pop that into there, and there you go. So you've got your little closure um, for your your little card. So now I'm going to pop him up on. I'm not going to do any colouring on this one. Actually, I might just do a little tiny bit like I did on my other one. I'm going to use. I'm just going to pop a little, um, little, some little colour in those little dots on, um, like the little berries. And then I'm, and that was in real red, so I used light real red, and I'm going to use light shaded spruce, not that M. And I'm just going to colour in the little leaves, um, green. And. And that's just gave her um, her little colouring. And then I'm going to use my light, um, actually, I'm going to use light poppy parade, up uh, poppy parade, light purple posy. And I'm just going to colour in, actually mine's, it's just very subtle um, There, and it sort of gives it a, a bit more of a. So I'm just gonna use the brush end. And, and it's a pity that um, we couldn't have an ink pad that went with this color because the purple pose is um, quite pretty. So, and it just sort of gives that. Um, that bit of a um, like colour, I don't know if you can see that. So it just sort of gives it a little bit more of a um, texture to it. So I'm going to grab my, um, it's looking beautiful, thanks Michelle. <laughs> Even though after um, me making some mistakes. So I'm just going to pop that onto there and... So I'm just going to pop him up on a, so make sure when you pop it up, um, like you're, where you're putting your glue dots, um, that you're not putting it somewhere where you're going to see it when you open the card. So just sort of work out roughly where you want to have, have it and then avoid the glue dots, um, there. So I'm just working out whether I want to have him sit up the page or down or in the center here. I think I quite like it in the centre there. So that means I'm actually going to pop him up on glue dots all over the place. And I've, I've already stamped over top of one that I'd done earlier that I... I uh, know oh that's the one that I didn't... Um, I had two sides, I remember now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just popping three on there and I may need to... Um, no, I'm um, pretty good. So, so I was thinking that's a, a double layer there. So, and trying to get the backings off. And then I'm just going to pop him because I want to have him. I'm just working out where I want to have that because I've got to remember my closures there. So, I'm thinking about. I might have it, actually I might pop him up here a little bit more. So it looks like he's sitting on that. Oh look, he's going to go there. So, and it's not going to make any difference of my closure there. So, 
she? No, because his little leg's gonna get it's gonna get bumped there. So I'm gonna try to see if I can get that off. I was looking at that and I thought, and he's not gonna come off. So just make sure if you've got a little leg hanging out there that um he's not gonna be. I should have stuck him up on top of um there, but yeah, don't do what I did and make sure his little foot um part there or it's a little grass. I could probably cut him up, cut him up, cut him off and but um I'll be careful there. So I've got that part. So now all we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this up on some glue dot, up uh, some dimensionals as well. So we're gonna pop that up as well. But I'm gonna pop two up on this end because I want it to sit here but um I want that to come up a little bit more. So on the N1 that's going to be sitting on here, you want to pop two um, two dimensionals on top of one another. So, because I just want that height um, of, because you've already got the layer of the um, him sitting up on dimensionals already. So I'm just going to pop this one here. And he's going to sit just over the top of there so. and um, that's where I want to sit that one and I quite like I love the layers so um, and he's, he's quite quite good so once you've got him where you want him the last thing that we need to do is grab some rhinestones and because on my other one I use red with the blue um, on this one here I use red with the blue this one here I'm just going to use my my clear pearls and if I, I did have them in here did I chuck them back in here or did I chuck them over there okay I did have them here earlier and I thought no I'm not going to need those but guess what now that I want them oh there they are up there I can't find them so I'm just going to use my um, just my um, basic pearls and grab my take your pick tool so grab, pop him out of the way and I'm just loving how this purples come together so I'm just going to grab um, some little of these ones and I'm just going to pop it in the center of the snowflakes there I'm going to pop one in the center there and I'm just going to pop a couple of these onto his my button or her buttons. So she's got two buttons there. And um, if you wanted to, you could, could have changed the colours. But um, I think there's a lot of purple going on. You could have used silver. Um, and I actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to colour one of these with the Highland Heather. So I'm going to grab my, um, actually no. Do we have gorgeous grape in that? What's that one? That's dark Highland Heather. Um, and it's purple posy. We do have. Okay. It's Blackberry Bliss. We'll try Blackberry Bliss and see what. Um, so I'm just going to colour um, my Blackberry Bliss on there. And I just want to see. Um, what that looks like. So what have we got? One, two, three, four. And then once that's dry, so I just use my Blackberry Bliss um, blends. And I'm just going to pop this one on just the end there. And it sort of gives it that, you could have done the um, Blackberry Bliss on all of those. So, um, but there you go. That's with the closure. Um, and I don't think I've um, missed anything else so that's the one that I've done um, that doesn't close um, and you could always like I will grab I'll grab a piece of this this is the um, and I thought that just went nicely with that so I'll have a look and um, I'll tie a piece of this on I grabbed a piece of this earlier and I don't didn't know whether I wanted to to use it or not but if you wanted to um, have a closure on here I'm just having a 
having a look. I'm going to go down the bottom of that. So, and I'm going to see if I can tie a bow. So, she probably needed a bit more than that. So, this is me just getting an idea and um, running with it. So, so, and I am going to do a bow differently, I think, today. No, I'm going to do the same, my two bunny ears. I'm going to see how, and this is gorgeous ribbon, this one. It's, um, I'll tell you what it is in a second. I think it's out of the, um, okay. Trying to get that bow there. And you can just see what I, um, I'm not going to try it, but you could, um, add a bow, a bit better one than I've just done there. Um, I'll see if I can fix that. So I just don't want to pull it too tightly. But, um, okay, take that down a little bit more. And and this is um, really quite um, thick. But um, you sort of get the idea. I don't want to cut that off um, until I know for sure. But um, that's an idea too. You could... Um, you could Add a piece of that underneath this section here before you glue it down um, and it quite looks I think it quite um, makes it pretty with that um, ribbon and that ribbon is um, where did I just chuck that I just chucked it here somewhere okay I've lost that ribbon I was playing around with that earlier on another project and I there it is so this one is the, I think it was called the Snowflake Splendor um, Ribbon. So um, yeah, so that is quite pretty with that. So it's got the same colours as what I've used in the, I um, don't know if it has colours on there. No, it doesn't. But um, there you go. So if you wanted to make it that way without, um, like I did here, so um, you could do that too. So that is my fun fold card for the day with all the mistakes. So, <laughs> but anyway, so um, which one do you prefer? Um, do you like the purple or do you like the blue? So the base of this one is Knight of Navy and um, I've used the, what do you call it? Seaside spray, um, like snowflakes on that one. Um, so, but anyway, so, um, thanks Francis for joining. Um, so I'm just having a quick look back, um, at the notes of oh, the notes at the, um, so you love the purple, you love purple Francis. Um, you'd love the purple too, wouldn't you Lisa? So you love the colors, Kathy. Thank you. Um, so that's just, a, a another, a way of, um, yeah, creating a card and and it's just putting layers on top of layers. So, um, but if you wanted to, you could do the same thing. You could have that one. You, you don't have to have that um, sit in there. So, um, but that was just a way of, um, yeah, creating it. But if you didn't want to do it like that, you could do it like this with the ribbon, um, with the ribbon. So, but yeah. Anyway, so... Um, don't forget to um, comment if you're watching this back on YouTube so you can go into the draw to win um, the project kit. So you'll get whole, all of the 12 projects um, in kit form so you get to do them yourself. Um, you won't have inks, um, like you won't have anything. You'll have everything that I've made. So like this project here, you'll get um, you'll get the snowman um and everything but um, I'm not quite sure how I will do that but um, I will work it out anyway but um, you'll get everything like you'll get the um, paper um, you'll get everything to de design this um, card the only thing that you won't have is you won't you'll have to stamp your own sentiment on there but um, but yeah but I can help you out with any of those if um, if you are the winner and you haven't got any of those um, I'm sure I can work out something anyway so but 
Alrighty then, I'm going to go, um, if, like I said if, um, earlier, if you're watching this back on YouTube, please um, subscribe. Um, please give me the thumbs up. Please leave a message. And um, and if you're interested in any of these products, I'll have, um, I'll have all my details in the um, show more box on YouTube. Um, I'll also have um, in the links above this video um, of where you can go and purchase any of these products. So, but... Alrighty then, I hope you enjoyed that and um, I hope you all have a great day and I'll catch you tomorrow for day 11 um, and with another cute project. So, but alrighty then, on that note, I will say goodbye and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.